streetcars in St. Louis, Missouri operated as part of the transportation network of St. Louis from the middle of the 19th century through the early 1960s. During the first 40 years of the streetcar in the city, a variety of private companies operated several dozen lines. From the start of the 20th century, most of these companies consolidated into the St. Louis Public Service Company, which served both the city of St. Louis and neighboring St. Louis County, Missouri. Other private companies, such as those serving the Metro East region or St. Charles, Missouri, continued separate operations. Starting in the 1930s and continuing through the 1960s, St. Louis Public Service ended all streetcar service, while other regional operators also ended their services. Historical streetcar service equals Early public transit equals, by the 1830s, the city of St. Louis had grown in size beyond the ability of many of its residents to walk conveniently throughout the town. In 1838, brief mention is made in historical records of a private horse-drawn cab service in the city, followed in 1843 by the beginning of an omnibus service by entrepreneur Erastus Wells in partnership with an investor named Calvin Case. During the late 1840s, other horse-drawn omnibus service companies began operation, but by the end of 1850, most of these companies had consolidated with the Case and Wells lines to form Case and Company, which operated 90 carriages and several lines in the city. In 1855, principal investor Case was killed in the Gasolnade Bridge train disaster, and the company was divided among its other investors. The resulting horse-drawn tram lines became the blueprint for street railway service in the late 1850s. Equals initial street railways equals. In December 1855, a group of investors formed the Lacklade Railway Company for the purpose of building a street railway, modeled on services then provided in eastern cities such as New York City, Philadelphia, and Boston. However, the Lacklade line was never built. In spite of the early failure, by 1859, seven other lines were proposed. However, only four were completed before the outbreak of the American Civil War. The first of these lines began operation on July 4, 1859, running east to west on Olive Street from 4th to 10th Streets. However, early operations were marred by difficulty in securing quality rails, and construction problems caused derailments of the cars. All of the pre-war railways used horsepower to pull their cars, that is they were horse cars. After the Civil War, other lines opened in St. Louis that connected the central city with western areas. In 1874, with the opening of the Eds Bridge, a new line opened connecting the city with East St. Louis, Illinois. The first experiments with mechanical traction for the cars took place immediately after the war in 1865 on Grand Avenue while a fully operational steam-powered line opened in 1868 as an extension of the Olive Street line. This line, however, was not operationally connected with the rest of the horse-drawn lines, and it used a different track gauge than other lines. Equals decline equals, in the 1920s street cars began to be replaced by motor buses as bus operators could route freely over public streets, paying only vehicle and gas taxes while street car operators had fixed routes by the tracks, and had to pay additional property taxes for the infrastructure they placed in the road, however a good transit route doesn't need to change often. The construction of Highway I-70 that cut through downtown St. Louis, threatened and ended service to many street lines. The last St. Louis street car route in operation was the 15 Hoda Mond line which ceased service on May 21, 1966. Much of the streetcar system's routes are today's Metro Bus and Madison County Transit Bus routes. St. Louis was also involved in the Great American Streetcar Scandal. Streetcar Builders, the St. Louis Car Company began operation in 1887 when financier J. H. Cobbush and plant supervisor Peter Kling abandoned the German immigrant industrialist Frederick Brownell's Streetcar Manufacturing Company. The company lasted until 1973 was located at 3023 North Broadway, and took orders from across the country. The St. Louis Car Company became the biggest street car builder in the world. They distributed their cars internationally at their height. Equals historical lines or companies equals, Baden and St. Louis Railroad, Benton and Bellefontaine Railroad, Citizens Railway, 
Cass Avenue and Fairgrounds Railroad, Forest Park and Clayton Railroad, Lindell Railroad, Midland Street Railway, Missouri Railroad, Northern Central Railroad, People's Railway Company Street Louis and Kirkwood Railway St. Louis and Suburban Railway Street Louis Railroad Street Louis, St. Charles and Western Railway Street Louis Public Service Company, Southern Electric Railway, Tower Grove and Lafayette Railway Company, Union Railroad, Union Depot Railroad, The Level Electric Railway Company, East St. Louis and Suburban Railway Company, East St. Louis Railway Company, Illinois Traction Company, Alton, Jacksonville, and Peoria Railway Company, East St. Louis, Columbia and Waterloo Railway Company, these cars serviced 70 Grand, 20 Cherokee, 22 Jefferson, 40 Broadway, 13 Union, 03 Midland, 01 Kirkwood Ferguson, 10 Delma, 15 Hodemont, 42 Sarah, 53 Chauteau, 32 Wellston, 31 Natural Bridge, 05 Creve Kerr Lake, 5355-56 Manchester, 12 Maryland Olive, 11 University, 14 University Clayton, 66 St. Peter's, 65 Woodson, 67 Bridgeton and 51 Forest Park. St. Louis Public Service sold 1700 series to the San Francisco Municipal Railway in 1957. Their numbers were changed to the 1100 series and ran until their retirement in 1982. Equals Fleets equals, St. Louis ran Peter Witt streetcars from 1927 to 1951. All of St. Louis' three series of Peter Witt cars were built in the United Railway's 39th Street shops. Later Art Deco PCC cars were first produced in 1936. They were 46 feet long and 9 feet wide. They sat 53 passengers. The St. Louis Car Company built many of these models. St. Louis Public Service Company ordered three groups of PCC cars in the 1500, 1600 and 1700 series from them. The first group was delivered in 1940. The last group was delivered in 1946. Revival, there are three current projects for streetcars in St. Louis. Equals Delma Loop Trolley equals. The Delma Loop Trolley is a 2.2-mile proposed heritage trolley line that is planned to serve the Delma Loop District in St. Louis, Missouri and University City, Missouri. The line will have about 10 stations and serve the Missouri History Museum in Forest Park, Washington University in St. Louis, two Metrolink stations, Forest Park de Balavia Station and Delma Loop Station, University City City Hall, and all the Delma Loop attractions. Origin, the Delma Loop got its name from a loop of the track on the 10 Delma Street car line, which ran its last trip on April 19, 1964. In the early 20th century, the loop was adjacent to the Delma Gardens Amusement Park. Until its abandonment on July 25, 1950, the loop was also the terminus of the 05 Creve Kerr Lake Line famous for its open moonlight cars. The loop long retained its name and found a champion in Joe Edwards, the owner of Blueberry Hill, the pageant, and a number of other loop businesses. Edwards secured the purchase of two restored Peter Witt type streetcars that once operated in Milan, Italy, and has led the initiative for a new line in conjunction with Citizens for Modern Transit. Fleet, the two Peter Witt cars were refurbished by the Gomarco Trolley Company in 2005 and placed on long-term display along the route a Euro 1 on Delma by Commerce Bank, and the other at the History Museum. Not conforming to ADA regulations, the cars will remain parked until they can be modified. The Loop Trolley line is planned to be served initially by a fleet of three streetcars, two Gomarco built Brill replica streetcars which until 2014 were used on the Portland Vintage Trolley service and one of the two Red Peter Witt streetcars. The three cars are scheduled to be modified for wheelchair accessibility. Equals St. Charles City Streetcar equals the nine original 1700 series PCC streetcars were purchased for use in Newtown at St. Charles by Whitaker Builders Incorporated. Some will be placed around town converted into old-fashioned diners, cafe copyright s, or bookstores while others will be restored and put back in service. The proposed route is said to be eight mile from Newtown to St. Charles, Missouri. Equals St. Louis streetcar equals. 
In June 2013 Forbes magazine profiled new streetcar systems of 10 USA cities that had built or were building new modern streetcar systems. According to Forbes St. Louis is planning to build a seven-mile modern system to connect downtown St. Louis to the central west end along with other neighborhoods like downtown west, midtown, and car square. It does not connect to the Delma Loop trolley. See also, list of streetcar systems in the United States, streetcar strikes in the United States, streetcars in North America. References External links, Western Rail Images website, KETC Living Street Louis Streetcar Memories A short video about streetcars in St. Louis, with various 20th century footage assembled by local PBS station KETC.